Hosnig and Derek Shockton in the quarter, Ulf got her long. Took me far to shift to Galer. I don't know cards to shield to shot. And um, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably a unique happening in some respects. In that we've waited 82 years to discover where John McKay has been buried, uh, and we have now the pleasure today of unveiling headstone in memory of one of the founders of our association. And um, this year is unique in that it's special. It's our 125th anniversary. And John was one of the men that gathered in Torlis in 1884 in Hayes' Hotel and brought the association to life. Now it's going to give me great pleasure to unveil, unveil this monument in a significant way. I'd, I'd like Joseph McDonagh to join me if you don't mind, Joe, uh, as chairman of the OC, but also as the Eurocron, that he might do the honours in unveiling this with me. <laughs> Chrissy, I suppose even though last Sunday was officially the winding down of the 125, you could call this closure in some way. Well, in its own way, you could, because for the first time we were in a position to honour one of our founders in John McKay. Um, we were fortunate that we were in a position to find his grave, and that was due to tremendous research that was done by Kieran and Donald uh, and by John Arnold. And it has worked out tremendously well now that we're here for the 125 special this weekend in honouring the people of Britain and the contribution that they have made to our association. And that we're in a special way able to honour the life and times of John McKay and the contribution that he made to our association by unveiling the monument at his grave, which is great. For much an issue do our process fara ach and Maria as to her kids came of on firma jamach data awash riv gavilak saniro sig dinner be casa honakse uh her first a boss can actually worship first a boss no rudder beamerson no car hatcha rua uh so firma data awash nation and yes and for for much of a face again and chin groce groce and show in london away august and chin scream which could be london la hay a cast as was uh river wad for much a mark roche and show a relic neve wara uh cancel green news day new year even dying year you and lower the gaa a people's history a show like an author on I'd, I'd have the final on St. Patrick's Day along with uh, all in club finals. I, I, I'd play the Horland down in, in the home of Horland in Torles and I'd play the football, have the Railway Cup, the interprovincial match on before the all in club final. And I think you've got a 40, 50,000 people in Crow Park and for, for them to see players of the quality we're going to see the, uh, here tomorrow would be great. And, and it's great for the players too. The, play, the players deserve to play in front of large crowds. Well, you can have a show in Mass in Rory than the North High Dawn, son, because the part of the road marshal, Keen to Slew. Mar Husser and Downock, Emria Cleha, Fish Akjog, in the Fern O London, or his Fern as Kuigala. I was born at Godam Left Nehimra, or Shane Morton. Each year we start off. The question marks are asked, you know, like like you again, is this com com competition going to continue? Um, look, it, it's very hard to, to, to work and to go ahead on, under that question mark all the time. I mean, now is the time. We're going to make the decision. Give it three or four years. Put everything we have into it. I mean, the people here, I mean, it, it, this is like getting an All-Ireland final to them. They, they, they're really, you know, the work and effort they have put in here, and I'd have to take my hat off them. I mean, they deserve a crowd here today. They deserve great thanks, and like there is, you know, people all over the world that would take with this competition from Chicago, San Francisco, anywhere. I mean, there is a future for it if we, if, you know, but we have to back it. And look, you cannot continue under the crowd like that.